Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Paul Mouse video. And sticking with the we're back theme, uh, let's, let's let's do a video today, right? So uh, we got the um, uh, we got the update last night, which some people were surprised by. Uh, I don't. People shouldn't be though, because it's the January update. It's always uh, earlier because New Year's they're, they're on like holiday or whatever, right? So um, it makes sense. It's usually around this time, right? So okay, um, we got some stuff. We got some stuff. I know, surprising, right? Um, and uh, we finally got it, folks. We we got a wall assault. Um, although here's the thing, I was never like concerned about like a wall assault because uh, I don't I don't care that much. Um, I wanted specifically champion Wallace because you know he is in fact canonically a champion. Um, I don't really care about any other like oh he gets seasonal like oh, okay not that I don't like it's nice I it's I like Wally he's my favorite champion right um, and and whatever which I very rare I know um, no one really has Wallace as their favorite champion except for me I guess but uh, it, okay it's nice that he got a all but I'm I'm you know the, <laughs> what I was waiting for was the, was the champion version of Wallace. Um, when he's only a gym leader in this game, which, uh, is slightly, uh, blasphemous. But anyways, um, yeah, New Year's Wallace with Blacephalon, which is very fitting, right? You got that whole fireworks theme, because, uh, people do, you know, enjoy fireworks during New Year's, even though I personally think fireworks are highly overrated and uh, not that great for the environment. But also, it's just not, it's not, it's not, it's not that cool. It really, it's not that cool. It's incredibly expensive and, oh, whatever. Anyways, um, <laughs> Blacephalon, very cool. Uh, love Blacephalon, big, uh, big fan of Ultra Beasts. And uh, Blacephalon is, is, is very nice. And he's, he's basically just dressed like one. <laughs> so, you know. <gasps> all right, all right, all right, all right. So that's, that's our first New Year's unit. Uh, the second one being Claire. Uh, now this is a alt I don't uh, mind having, right? Claire alt. Drumpa though! <laughs> of all the dragon type Pokemon in the entire series, Drumpa might be... It's not my least favorite, but it's down there. It's down there. Uh, I definitely... I think... I definitely think uh, Darudagon is worse, but like... Overall, Drumpa is... <laughs> it's a bit of a... Uh, no, no, but, okay. It's whatever. Claire got and all. Uh, that's great. Claire's personality in this game is, 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 is very funny. So uh, I do look forward to that story uh, when it does happen. And uh, yeah, getting some reruns. Um, or Cynthia, Thunderbolt Red. Um, you know, noticingly, no, no Ash, which is uh, yeah. I mean, he was he was a crossover celebration character. So again, you know, people should have pulled him the first time around because like, who knows if he's ever coming back? Because Bro's like retired. He's uh, you know living in peace and his retirement home now, so, anyways, uh, yeah, outside of that, we got, uh, got some other, um, new units, uh, I, I, I don't know what they're called, um, this, this girl, I, I think she, I, I think she called, I, I, I don't know, who, <laughs> I, I don't know, man, um, I have vision game, it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't like open world games. I really, I don't like open world games. I'm sorry. I'm so, I know everyone likes it. It's like the big, you know, thing. Um, they're, open world games are such a drag. They're such a drag. Yeah, anyways, with whatever Pokemon that is, which I also do not recognize. Um, I'm very much not up on my um, Scarlet Violet game. Um, Grusha, right, I think was his name, and um, Whatever that thing is. Which looks pretty cool, by the way. It, it is a cool Pokemon. Um, I, I don't know what the hell it is. Anyways, but yeah. We're getting more Scarlet Violet stuff. Like I said yesterday in yesterday's stream, we, we you know, um, if you guys remember, I talked about we're getting more Scarlet, Scarlet Violet characters, which uh, slightly sucks for me because I don't recognize half of them. <laughs> so. <sighs> okay. What else we got? Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's just the main rel- Oh, oh, this guy, he's coming back, too. Um, I think he's getting a, uh, the, the, the EX role, I believe it's support, which is nice. I mean, support is just good for, like, everyone, I guess, right? It's, it's not like a, you know, 
Uh, it's hard to find like broken combinations with the EX port roll, but it's just fitting. It's just good for every, every like it's not, it's never gonna be a bad thing to have EX port, right? Um, so, all right, uh, as for some of the other stuff, uh, we got the, uh, the event thing. I believe that's another um, uh, free NPC unit over there. Uh, one of the first Ode girls, right? We had one um, last year, right? Which was not that good, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what context here, but it looks like it's a triple poke fair rerun with Penny, which came back really fast. Like, damn, uh, Gloria and um, Doctor. That's even fast. Like, wow. Okay, and the third, there's just yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, what else is there? That's Iono. Is that her badge? I don't know. I think I beat her. In my game, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I beat Iono in in my um playthrough so far, so I don't remember what the badges look like, man. Um, I believe that's another one of those uh whatever battles that people don't like, which I I disagree actually. Um, I think they're fine. Um, but that's the topic for another video. Uh, these are expansions, I believe. Three, three of them. That's a lot, man. What's going on? This month, this one got Volkner in the lodge. Uh, I I will be getting that Volkner plushie if it will ever load, um, and it's not. So okay, main. So oh Jesus Christ! I'm so behind, man. Um, well, uh, what else we got? Mm, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's most of whatever this is. I don't, I don't I don't know. I mean, that's the roll candy coin, but I don't I don't know specific context. Uh, it's grass type high score event, is that? Have we had one yet? I don't think so, right? Yeah, it seems like grass type high score event. Um, yeah, just story event stuff here and there. I guess this is kind of different. I'm not exactly sure what that entails, but uh, okay. And unfortunately, unfortunately, but yeah, the two new um, Scarlet Violet gym leaders are Pokefairs, which is kind of odd considering like, gym leaders usually aren't Pokefairs. I mean, if, if you know, there's not that many Pokefair gym leaders. Like, you know, you look across the board, um, uh, Skyla, for example, the original, not like any alts or whatever. Um, Elisa, Sabrina, whatever, Fantina, like, you know, they're, they're, they're not Pokefairs. Like, how many, how many, like, original gym leaders are actually Pokefairs? So, like, Raihan? Off the top of my head, I think that's the only one. Just uh, original, uh, that orig uh, dropped originally as a gym leader. Cause you know, Missy Brock, whatever. Um, even Nessa, B, none of the, you know, none of those are public affairs, but oh well. It is what it is. It, it uh, it's, it's public affairs. All right, whatever. Um, obviously, um, the seasonals are seasonals. Uh, anything else? What? A, a lean too? All right. Anyways, Palmer. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. Oh, 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 oh! It's one of those like New Year's um, uh, select poke fair scouts, right? Yeah, yeah. That's probably what it is. Okay. All right. That's cool. Um, that's a good selection over there. And yeah, the reruns of the Master Fairs. And again, is Ash ever coming back? I don't know. Right? I don't know. I don't know. These are the medals. Yep. The grass type high score event. Um, let's see, anything else interesting? There's the Vulcaner plushie, look at that. Anything else in here? More lodge stuff. Oh, it looks like we're getting a new uh, lodge design style. That's, that's neat. And that seems kind of, oh, yeah, we're getting an EX for a Sorola. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Some new Pokemon, probably NPC, you know, Pokemon. And there, the EX, ooh, wow. Oh, I really like the EX versions of both Wallace and Claire over here. Wow, these are nice. I, I Yeah, I think I like both of them. Actually, I don't know. The Claire regular one is really nice, too. Mm, I don't know, they're cool. Uh, Grusha's EX is, is great. This one is whatever. Um... That's the sync move backgrounds. Uh, this is Grusha. It's the New Year's one. They're the same. And then that's uh, not EX back for sync move backgrounds. That's, that's Iona, 
guess. Well, what about the first Zoda girl? Is is she just gonna use the same one as last year's? Yeah, maybe. All right. Well, um, yeah, that's uh, that's what we got over here. Let's uh, let's check out uh, let's check out the kits, I guess, while we're at it, right? All right. So uh, unfortunately, Pomatools, um, they mentioned that they're uh, they're a bit busy and you can't update this week, which is totally understandable. Um, but uh, you know, thankfully, we still have our the old reliable. Right, only the best uh, Pokemon website in existence, Serbi.net, which does have uh, all the stuff. Although we don't have the visualized um, grid, which uh, you know so slightly sucks, but that's all right. Anyways, let's uh, let's check out uh, Wallace, the New Year's Wallace first, because um, uh, I, I don't know. I want I want to check him out first. So, <laughs> all right, let's see what's up. So it's a field unit, um, Striker EX roll. Right, so let's see what we got over here. Uh, Blastephalon. So. It, is it fire type, or uh, what's uh, what's 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 the main typing here? Okay, fire. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, fire field. Hoenn, gym leader, seasonal outfit, contest lover, whatever. Let's check out the stats. Um, these are at one fifty. Uh. Okay, so six eighty HP. Um, three hundred forty nine attack. Th okay, it's special. So three seventy four special attack. Um, I mean, that's not, like, a crazy amount of special attack, but, uh, it's not, like, terrible either, I guess. And the speed, uh, special defense, okay, sure. Um, either, oh, speed's really good, okay, so, so we're fine. Um, 364 is perfectly fine speed. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's check out the, uh, the moves. We got Shadow Ball over here, which is kind of mid. Um, Hoenn Analysis. What? What? Does that have like two trainer moves? What's what's going on? Uh, increase the special move up next of uh, all allies by one, I'm assuming, right? Uh, applies Hoenn Circle. Um, oh, so he has special Hoenn Circle? Okay. I thought that was gonna be something reserved for like Master Fairs. I guess not, just cause it's, it's just a field effect, right? And obviously, you know, um, like zone or whatever or seasonal units has had zones. I mean spotlight units free units have had zone. So um, Okay So entire team special move up next plus one whole circle and uh, Yeah, it's basically the same as the Unova one except this one's for special and for whole Right uh, two uses which is nice two uses uh, two gauges, right? So okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's just straight up the 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 Hoenn circle thing then. Um to call the Hoenn analysis. Alright. <laughs> Strange Flames Mind Blown. It's, it's an odd name, but sure. Activation condition when the user uses any move, that's really easy. Cannot be deactivated. Alright. Increase the user special move up next, effect by zero. Zero to ten to ten? Max? The higher the rank of the effect increase, the lower the chance it will activate. Okay. <laughs> it's a four gauge move, 200 to 240 BP. What? No, this guy looks nuts. What? Holy. I'm assuming this means like the the higher um like the higher uh special move up like you already have like the the lower chance you'll you know get like the higher ones so like at first you'll have like a really high chance to get like higher levels i i, I i'm assuming uh, oh it looks nuts is, is it is it gonna be applied before the attack hits wait that doesn't make sense then all right, whatever. We'll 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 see when it drops, which uh, should be soon. Um. All right. Let's see. Raises. Oh no. The uh the trainer move. Actual trainer move. The previous one was not true. That's just the uh, potent circle. Um. It's showtime. Raises an ally special attack by four and crit by three. How many uses? One. Unfortunately. Okay. Would have been nice if it was two there, but oh well. That's fine, I guess. Damn, <laughs> it's, it's pretty good so far. <laughs> and um, burning elegant fire beam. It should give sun after sync, right? For field over here. And no additional effect, uh, just regular base power for sync. 
And let's check out the uh, the passives here. Mind Blowing Illusion activates one one of several effects at random after using the user's max move. Max move? That has max moves? Oh, okay. Damn. Um, I guess there's still more to see then. Uh, KO opponent special boost up to nine. Okay, so plus two special move up next after it knocks an opponent out and then Max countdown to minus two sync move countdown after using max. All right, I guess we'll have to check out the max moves then. What the heck? Um, okay, just max flare and max uh, phantasm, uh, which is just your regular max moves, right? Get sun or defense for your entire team, which is cool. Or, or debuff the opponent's defense. Um, I guess physical defense. Debuffing over here doesn't really do too much um, for, for him or his team in most case scenarios. But uh, damn, that's really good <laughs> that is very good what the heck <laughs> this yeah this unit looks really really powerful so far what the hell um what's the random effects though let me see if there's any other info on that okay there the, the apparently like there's some good stuff in there and there's some like worthless stuff in there it's like chance to get like endurance Gradual heal, damage guard next, super effective up next, guarantee crit, which is like, well, okay, what? <laughs> he already has like plus three crit. And then there's, uh, there's free move uh, next, which is probably the best one. It's that or super effective up next, I guess. So, um, yeah, damn. Yeah, it, uh, this, this, this unit looks uh, kind of nutty. All right, let's, uh, let's check out the, uh, the sync grid over here. Um, anything interesting? Move get refresh. Gob smack four, don't really care. Uh, move gear refresh five? Oh, so there's a move gear refresh five and a move gear refresh two on um, the four gauge um, B move. Brain power, that's good. Soften up. And then they gave him soften up. All right, man. <laughs> um, let's see. Ramp up two, that's good. That's really, really good. Um... NPR two on the on the Hoenn circle thing. Honor roll two on Shadow Ball. Super duper effective five on Shadow Ball. Um, healing Sun, Speeding Sun one with the Sun. Okay, so no Flint Trap confused in Sun. Charging Sun three. Max Flare power up. Okay, no, this guy this guy looks really really nice. Um, being a field unit, obviously you have that you get to set and extend that that Sun. And you have a second um, setting slash extension with your um, uh, with the uh, with your max move max flare, and then you have like the Hoenn circle, and then on top of that, this guy has the potential just to do like astronomical damage <laughs> with that uh, with that B move. Like again, like if you just get like plus ten special move up, you don't even have to get like plus ten special move up next for it to be really really good, but like. If you, for some reason, get that plus 10 special, that's what, 400, extra 400 percent more um, damage in just, like, one move. That's, that's just, that's very, that's, that's unbelievable. Um, and then you also get, like, more special move up next on your, like, your, your, your Hoenn circle when you set that as well, right? Um... Yeah, special move up next, plus two when you knock out an opponent. Like, yeah, this this guy is going to be very, very nutty, right? And then you also have that, you know, you have a one-time nuke with the, uh, with the, with the max move, which might not even be as good as your regular B move, <laughs> considering, like, it's, like, what, 400, 480 power? Like, you have a chance for your regular move to, um, uh, wi wildly just eclipse that. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah, this, this unit looks nice, man, this, this unit looks really, really, really good, um, both from the standpoint that it could, again, just support, set up, um, field effects, all that stuff, and just do, just out of this world astronomical damage, so, <laughs> alright, that's nice, let's, uh, let's check out the next, uh, New Year's unit, so, New Year's Claire over here, with, again, very, 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 very nice outfit, um, let's, so, let's check out the unit, so it's a support, so it's support Trompa, okay. And then um, Techie X roll. Uh, I believe it's Dragon type, right? From the summoning background, I think it was, yeah. Um, yep, yep, yep. It's uh it's it's weak to dragon. It's um it's dragon weak to dragon. Yeah. Uh the classic. So let's see, let's check out its stats first. So at 150 706 HP 
302 defense, um, 316 special defense, 282 speed. Okay, so, you know, not very fast. Um, and uh, borderline irrelevant. I mean, I guess 210 isn't, like, totally irrelevant special attack, but it's not, it's not anything uh, incredibly high or whatever. Let's see what else we got. Um, moves. Uh, Twister, X Defense, all Dragon Breath, and you're good as a trainer move. Raise uh, attack and special attack of allies to make all allied sync pairs by two, and then raise crit by three. Is it just one use? One use. Okay. Um. So, so far, it's kind of mid, <laughs> but uh, let's check out the passives, I guess. Um. T move. What the hell is a T, -T move? Is trainer move, right? Okay. Uh, team move, team free move next. Nine applies free move next. Effect of Alice and when the trainer move. You, uh, when the trainer uses the move. So that's what three moves without move get refresh. Okay. Initial synchro healing two. Um, I'm assuming there's only one of these. <laughs> um, wait, is it two or three? Regardless, it's got an initial synchro healing. Um, team takes pit from P slash S slash max move ignores WTC power. Ah, oh. okay, whatever. Ignores the power up effects of weather terrain zone, whatever, when an ally is hit by an attack move. Same move or max move, basically. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's just to, like a uh, ignore weather thing for your team which is not bad which is not bad right especially if you run it in a high score event right um you could set dragon zone uh for example right and in, in dragon zone high score event or set dragon zone run it for lucas and then you know you get the benefits of dragon zone and the opponents don't really unless they have any passives really to that but you know okay um yeah i mean that's yeah 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 it, it seems like a really high score event specific unit so far what else we got? Um, tacky X roll. Jeez. Oh, okay, man. All right. It's just incomprehensible, honestly. Um, I guess I guess the stat buffs are nice ish. Not even that nice. Oh, whatever. Uh, no one's gonna. No one's gonna. No one's gonna eat X roll her. Um, other than the massive clear friends. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. Aggravation on Twister, that's nice to have always. Um, assuming hostile environment or drawing breath here too somewhere. Team fist bump three, okay. Hit and heal, team hit and heal. That's nice. Revenge boost four, that's nice. Quick cure, good to have all wrapped up one. Um, okay. I, I kind of need to see where it is though. Hmm. Weather, terrain, zone change, team uh, uh, moves up to. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good, right? Powers up the moves of all icing pairs uh, by 20% when there's um weather, terrain, or zone. Okay, so that's just straight up a free extra power up. That's good. That's good. That's good. Hostile environment. There it is on Dragon Breath. Um, You heal when you're attacking paralyzed opponents. Half HP, restore MP once, nine. Oh, okay, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, right? So then you could use what, at least um, five, you know, five times your, your trade to move. So that's, 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 that's pretty nice, that's pretty nice. Grass guard, panic button, move gauge acceleration, and a pinch. That's not bad either, honestly. First aid four, berserk bunch. Okay, I mean, it's it's solid, it's solid, right? Uh, yeah, you just get, you get like, without move, uh, without uh, NPR, you could get, what, five free move next, right? And then there's like a bunch of like other gauge stuff that you have in the grid, so maybe the speed issue won't be that bad. Um, just offensively, right, just some like offensive buffing. Mm, it's not great, definitely not great. Uh, it's more of a, more of a defensive unit. Right, but you do have some offensive stuff, for example, that extra 20% in the weather zone terrain, so that's nice at least. Okay, so, well, that's near as clear, right? I'd say it's going to be really, really nice for a high score event, at least. So let's, uh, let's check out the next one. Um, Iono, and I, 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 don't, I don't know what the Pokemon is called. Um, personally, find those characters slightly repulsive, not going to lie. Um, Belly Bolt. 
Really? Okay. Um, that's a that's a slightly funny name. I'll, I'll give it that. Uh, let's check out the stat. I uh, wait, 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 wait. What what role is it? Uh, support. Yeah, it's roll tech. Oh, just get whiplash from that man. Holy, Jesus Christ! Why? Why are they doing this? You you can give it field. You can give it sprint. It's fine. It's fine. All it has really good special tech. I was literally about to say all it has really good special tech. Okay, well, and then my eyes saw the um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There might be some merit to this one. This is crazy, really? A support unit with like 300 something special attack? That's slightly nuts. Anyways, all right, um, 690 HP, that's solid. 318 defense and special defense, 297 speed, and then 354 freaking special attack. Okay, no, this is this is good. <laughs> the, stats, the stats are good. I mean, I guess the speed could be better, but you know, can't ask for that much when all your other stats are, 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 are nice, so. Um, Eerie Impulse. Potion, uh, yeah, it's gonna be one of those, right? Where, like, you don't have like, any, like, actual, like, offensive moves. Um, Eerie Impulse, Potion, Ultra Bright, Zap Cannon. Activation Condition, when this user special move up, next effect r is rank 3 or higher. Deactivation is when the special move up next is, like, t 2 or lower. What? Okay. Lowers target special attack, or oh, special attack. Special defense by 2. 50% chance of flinching, and then paralyze the opponent. Um, that's pretty good. I guess we'll just have to see, like, how easy it is it, is it, is it to give the, um, um, special move up next, right? So, uh, raises, uh, train move on the rise, raises the crit of all adds, sync pairs by three, increase special move up next by all adds, sync by two, um, applies enduring effect to all adds, sync only one MP there, so you're not gonna get it just from that, so far, it seems. But uh, just max your team's crit, which is nice. I don't, care, don't really care about the endurance part, but okay. Um, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad in high score event. Uh, let's see what we got. Hopefully there's more um, special move up next stuff here. Uh, give me all you got. Apply free move effect to all the sync pairs when hit by an attack move. Wow! What? That's really good. That is very good. Oh, it's not even done yet. Increase special move up next effect of all other things by, by one when the user is hit by an attack. Wow, that is very good for the entire team? Two? Oh, wow. Look at that. Um, first team move team special attack up four. Raises special attack of all other pairs by four the first time the trainer uses move each battle. Okay, and vigilance. That's nice. Damn, this unit looks really good so far, even without looking at the um, looking at the grid. Assuming that three hundred fifty-four special attack stat is is not a mistake, <laughs> it might be the first um, you know, <laughs> worth a techie xing support. Um, holy, all right, wow, wow. <laughs> Let's check out the grid. Unbending sync damage guard endure again. Very creative name. Um, Alright. Uh, full bracing P move. That's really nice. Special defense and, and defense plus one every time it uses uh, area impulse. Um, stupefying strike nine. Lowers the target. Special defense by one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah. It's after sync as well. Yeah, man, this looks, this looks pretty solid. Although you could you could get the special defense debuffs just from your like B move, um, depending on all, how often you get that. Let's see. It's three, right? Your training move gives two. You get hit once. So like turn two, you could get it in. But then it'll be like three turns later. Okay, so maybe it's like not that frequent, unless there's more stuff that could help it. Uh, what else we got? Some power ups for the <laughs> for the B move special attack. Uh, Triage tank nine. Oh, just guaranteed heal on. Wow, Jesus Christ, this unit's good. Brain power, team smart start one. 
Okay, so it's just plus one. Okay, so if you want it, want to use it turn one for some stupid reason, you could you could run that. Um, <laughs> that's not the only reason I do want to run that though. Let the cap get paralyzed. Brain brawn two. Brain gain nine. Okay, so that's another special move up next when you use eerie impulse. Charging affliction. Wow. Wow. Wow, this unit's disgusting. Oh, this unit is disgusting. Your standard potion stuff. I guess standard by now. <laughs> no to remedy, sterner stuff too as well. Sync move, team special boost two, one's nine. Okay. First team move, team special attack up two. So you know if you if you want to max out your team's crit and special attack with this one unit, you could do that as well. Is that uh no it's out of five. Okay. So what are the four out of five and five five nodes here? Um four out of five are these? Um, the full bracing P move thing. Okay, that's re reasonable. Stupefying strike. Sure. Sure. And then you got endure again. Sink damage. I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Um. Okay, so the four to five 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 is actually not that crazy. Yeah, most of the good stuff is that just three out of five. Holy, what is this generosity? What the heck? Damn, this unit is crazy. This unit is really, really good. This unit is really, really good. <laughs> no notes. Wow, holy crap. All right, next, so let's, uh, let's check out Grusha, which, uh, again, I haven't fought I haven't fought him yet. Uh, the only thing I really know about him is like he's ice type and a lot of people thirst over him, which I get, you know? I, I, yeah, yeah, it's not very, very understandable. All right, let's, um, let's see what we've got. It's a support unit. Again, a lot of supports dropping this month, man. That's nice. Both supports. All right. Um, doesn't say anything about the uh, EX roll or whatever here. Um, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got. S Titan. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. All right. Uh, it's Ice type. Weak to steel. Cool. All right. Fear the snowy mountain. <laughs> that's a funny passive name. We'll get the passives later. Um, 726 HP, 313 on both defenses. Yeah, that's, that's, that's some really, really good defensive stats. Um, 311 speed is, it's not the best, but you know, it's not the worst either, I guess. Um, Ice Fang, Dire Hit All Plus, Absolute Zero, Ice Avalanche. Activation condition when the user's defense is raised, when the user's defense is not raised, deactivated. User takes up a defensive posture. Oh, really? Okay, I guess it's Avalanche. Um, and at least this one's a support and slash tank, so. Uh, using the move again will make the user leave the defensive posture, then attack. No other actions can be taken when the user's in defensive posture. Nullifies an attack move that targets the user or all allies while in this defensive posture, then um, the user leaves defensive posture and, and attacks target double the power of this attack, lowers the Attack and special attack of this target, of this attack's target by three. So it straight up just nullifies an attack. That targets user or all allies. That's really, really nice, right? Even like AOE moves. So like basically it's just like every other turn you, you just get like a free like damage guard. That's really nice, right? That's really, really good defensively. Uh, all right, Fear the Snowy Mountain, reduce the physical t attack, move damage taken by allies when the zone is an ice zone. Does he set ice zone himself? What's going on? Quickly charge move gauge when the zone is an ice zone. Super interference too raises the chance of inflicting status conditions as well as inflicting the flinch trap confused with additional effect of moves. Ice fang. Oh yeah, ice fang. Yeah. Um, impervious. Okay, cause that's cool. Wait, did we check out the training move yet? Oh no no no. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the ice zone. No wonder. <laughs> Let's cool down the training move. Turns the field to play into ice zone, and ice zone powers up the- oh wow, no way. Um, raises the defense and special defense all by two. I'm assuming that's two uses? Yep, two uses. Uh, so far so good, yeah, yeah, it's just a really, really nice, just defensive, just 
absolute tank, right? Holy. Sub-Zero, Shredder Avalanche. Unfortunately, um, I was hoping there'd be something just to give extra sync move countdown what's in the uh, defensive posture, but oh well, you know. I mean, I guess it's not that bad when, like, this unit is literally, like, the tank and, like, you get the complete... Like, it's kind of like the um, Falconer thing, except um falconer has like no like actual defenses and he has like actual defenses so <laughs> and he also you know have a, those debuffs so yeah that looks nice um Syncrid, ice guard propulsion nine on let's cool down super interference two again i'm not doing the math fire guard team status immunity okay and ice zone defense crush nine that's I mean, if you're hitting, like, if you're attacking like every other turn, eh, it's not, it's not that nice. <laughs> uh, is that is that the? Uh... Oh no no, this is the four out of five one. The propulsion nine and then five of five is super interference. Um, and then these two are the four out of five five out of five ones. Status immunity four out of five. Yeah yeah. Also, yeah yeah. It's not not that big with the oldies. Um. Mugi Refresh 3 on Ice Fang, Trainer Sync Redemption, 1M. Amp oh, that's good. Oh, that's kind of like the uh, the Sings of Chris Weekend thing, right? Um, with the, uh, you know, considering it's Ice Zone on Trainer Move 2. And uh, a Team Mighty Sync 9. Okay. Um, Team Fear Sentry 2. It doesn't have any um, offensive buffs, right? Yeah, 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 it's all, all, well, I guess, well, there's crit buffs, okay. Um, never mind then. Let's see, uh, Snow Shelter, Pep Rally on your training move, Hidden Heal 9 on training move. Um, wait, what was a physical attack again? Oh, okay, it's not, it's not, again, it's not atrocious, but it's not anything crazy either. Um, Vigilance, just defense, special defense up. One on your trainer move. What else? Inspire ire. I I don't know why you. Like, would you? Why would you run a second tank, <laughs> on whatever team this guy is running on? Um, use move when ice zone HP recovery nine. O okay, uh, wrench boost nine. That's good. Quick cure. Um, HP recovery on first sync, team sharp entry. He looks alright. Well, not alright, he looks good. I don't know, he, he, he looks, he looks solid. Um, just has a just more defensive unit, right? He also gives you ice zone, which is, I believe, our second ice zone unit ever, right? Um, there's still, like, a few zones that don't have, like, a second setter. I believe, like, dragon zone is one of them, right? I don't think there's a second dragon zone setter so far. Flying zone? I don't think we have a second one either, right? Like, there's still a few out there, but, you know, we got a second ice zone setter, which is slightly funny, considering how late the uh, first ice zone setter was, but... We got another one, ice zone setter, right? Just defensive support. It's kind of like a defensive Sing Su Chris, I guess. Right? In a way. Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Next up is uh, this year's free NPC for Saturday Girl. I guess, and um, yeah, this one's called Catherine, and it's a tech unit with a EX strike roll. That's good, that's pretty good, good start, right? And uh, we have, it's with uh, Slurpuff, very underrated Pokemon in my opinion. Slurpuff, Slurpuff, Slurpuff. All right, let's check out the stats over here. Um, five star max potential stats, let's check out the, the uh, 422 special attack. That's pretty good. Right, um, oh, I'm assuming, yeah, look, let's look like five star stats. Uh, four, four, two, special attack, still, still good. 636 HP, 178 defenses, and 261 speed is not very good. Yeah, bad speed, good attack. Yeah, I mean, it's slurp buff, so <laughs> makes sense, I guess. So, or special attack. Um, Dazzling Gleam, Sweet Scent, Charm, Time to Attack. Oh my god, it's these kind of units again. Alright, so... Um... Alright. Uh... It's not... And, yeah. The DPS is looking rough right now, folks. 
Uh, it's probably just gonna be like a really, really nice like AOE nuker if you bother to like EX, use EX roll cake on her, right? Which, and it will be very, very powerful, right? Big tech EX AOE nuke with very high special attack, hopefully a few multipliers in there as well, but you know, otherwise the DPS looks, uh, looks rough, looks rough. Um, Sweet Scent, uh, Charm, in time to attack raises, use a special attack by two, crit by one, I'm assuming two uses. Yep, okay, well, um, damn. All right, well, let's check out the passives. Pecking Order, okay, at least got that. Catalytic Infliction, okay. And then Wide Awake. All right, I guess, let's check out the Sync Grid. Um, Gobs back four, super duper effective nine. Eh, eh. That just makes it average. Um, movie refresh nine on sweet scent after remedy double down three fast track nine. That's good at least. Um, quick here. Dragon guard charm movie refresh nine. Um, Sharp Entry, okay, yeah, uh, very easy conclusion, it has some debuffs, which is neat, um, you know, evasion debuffs are relatively rare, right, um, for whatever reason you really need to use it, it's, it's you know, it's rare, not that many units really need that for multipliers, very rare there as well, uh, but it has, like, a bonkers... EX world nuke. It's like yeah, it's a it's a big it's a big EX world nuke, right? Um, yeah, there's there's that I guess. <laughs> not not too much DPS needs a bit of help. So there we go. That's very very uh, very simple. Next up, let's check out the uh, the Lodge Volkner over here. Lodge Volkner. It's attack. It's gonna be with um. That's not Lodge Volkner. That's old Volkner. Okay, it's still attack. Sure. Uh, with Raichu, electric, weak to ground, I don't even have to see to know that, that's, that's literally the only outcome here. Um, and check out the stats, uh, five star, we got, uh, that's pretty high special attack. That's, you know, almost 400 special attack over there, right, it's at 150, but still. Um, let's, let's it's not like terrible defenses for like a non-tank, I guess. 366 speed, that's good. All right, so far so good in terms of stats wise. Good stats, good stats. Check out the moves, discharged, our hit plus surf, and fully charged. Um, special attack plus four, and then you get free move next. Mm, all right, it's an AOE damage healer it seems mostly. The sync move is based on the Opponent's evasion getting lowered. Well, there, there we go. There, but the slur puff to use there. <laughs> and um, let's see, passives. Hem in minus one evasion against the opponent. All right, so he could do it himself. Slippery one. Uh, okay. Huh. All right. Just evasion buffs and debuffs. <laughs> All right. Okay. What what else we got in Syncrid? Mmm, super duper effective three. Uh, double down three. Static cling two. Well, let's steal. Are, are, are you trying to get the opponents to hit you or, or not hit you? <laughs> MPR two on the training move, slippery one. Hostile environment one. What's the base chance of discharge again? 10%, right? Oh no, 30%. Okay, never mind. That's, uh, that's solid then. Um. Surf power up, super freebie two. Double down five. Fast runner. Unfortunatus nine. Catalyst. Um, it's all right. I mean, I feel like it's better than a lot of the lodge units we've been getting recently. It's not like great or whatever, but you know, it's cool. It's 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 fine. It's fine little uh tech damage healer that is based off of uh, evasion completely <laughs> i mean it's not gonna be easy to get his um uh sync nuke um out on 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 the first uh first sync definitely right but uh you know it's, it's a second sync sort of unit you got coverage over there in surf although I i'm not sure like even a high score event are there any electric types that are also weak to water 
uh, I don't know, not off the top of my head, so. <laughs> okay, um, all right, that's, that's, that's a large surge. Surge, Vulcaner, 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 I saw the Raichu. Headwind Surge, all right. For the uh, grid expansions, we, we just got like a bunch of like Dragon type Pokefair expansions, so let's check them out, I guess. First one, I believe is Lucas. Lucas, 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 L, 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 L. Lucas, there, there he is. All right, the three out of five, or not three out of five, four out of five, five, five uh, grids expansions, plus the two, two out of five notes, I guess. Are they at the bottom? They probably are, right? Yep, they're all at the bottom here. So starting from, starting from here, sharpened mind one. Okay, it's a two out of five note, <laughs> so extra ten percent. All right, just for free, I guess. Satisfied snicker on roar of time. That's uh, 4 out of 5, it's kind of whatever. Um, soften up at 5 out of 5, okay, sure. Brain Sync, 2 out of 5. Brain Sync 2 at 2 out of 5. Status Immunity at 4 out of 5. Dragon Zone Extension at 5 out of 5. Okay, you could argue Dragon Zone Extension is nice, but outside of that, um, none of these are really... Yeah, like Soften Up is nice, QOL, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, free... 10% damage here, 20% damage here is cool, but those are two out of five notes. Yeah, like outside of the Dragon Zone extension, it's, it's it's kind of whatever. All right. Um, let's see what else. Cynthia, right? Cynthia. Cynthia. Uh, which one? <laughs> There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Uh, okay, let's see what we get over here. So these are the ones. A sharp Entry 2. Okay, brain power. That's that's good. Um Wait, no, are these are these it? I don't think they're it. Wait, which ones are the newly added ones? Oh, did she also get Did she get both expanded? Oh, she got both the horizontal. What? Oh my god. Well, I mean, uh the, the original Cynthia was also, you know, one of those rare units that got both expanded, so I guess not that much of a surprise that this Cynthia also got that treatment. Um, Unbending, Hostile Environment 2 on Dragon Breath. Okay. Shocked, hit, freebie, 9. Oh, that's very good. That is very, very, very good for this unit, because this unit speed sucks! It is so bad. It, the gauge on this unit is... Uh, d d d d sorry. Yeah, terrible. Um, Dauntless, oh, who cares, Sync Thinker 9, uh, is that 4 out of 5? Yeah, um, plus 1 special move up next after using Sync, I mean, that's pretty nice. Uh, Soften Up, 1, cool, uh, yeah, I mean, this unit does have, like, a pretty, like, washed grid, so it's nice to, like, actually actually use this you know stuff on like other things i guess <laughs> well uh, what else we got over here so um these are the that's the one out of five stat nodes hp and special attack why hp i don't really know but okay would have really loved a bit more speed <laughs> but uh, i guess you get that you know the free move next thing if you do get her at that's five out of five man holy crap all right Ramp up on X Special Attack and Furious Brain. And then Brain Power, Sharp Entry. I mean, this is pretty good. This is, she, 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 got, she got pretty good expansions, um, both from the um, 5 out of 5 and, like, 3 out of 5 stuff. Um, just straight up just more damage both, uh, both ways on her sync and, and regular moves on her 3 out of 5 expansion and then. Five out of five, you got the gauges thing sorted. So this is a this is a pretty big W, I'd say for uh, for this unit. Uh, again, it's highly unfair because it got like two at, at once, but you know it's it's, it's all right. <laughs> um, what's the last one again? Leon. Oh man, we should have checked out Leon after Lucas, because it'd be like uh, pretty much beside each other. All right, alphabetically, or at least pretty close. Uh, sings with Leon. Now let's see what he got. He has, uh, yeah, he, he only has a 3 out of 5, or not 3 out of 5, 2 out of 5, 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5 expansions. Antitoxin, uh, don't care. Um, Eternal Power, Bug 09, uh, don't care that much either. 
Mass Countdown 2. Okay, that's alright. Flame Proof, Trade Move, Special Boost, Up, 1, 9, Guaranteed. Uh, sure. That's 4 out of 5. And 5 of 5. Max Move, Hit, 7 stats, Up. Um... Yeah, I, I, yeah, this, I mean, it's not like, it's not a terrible expansion, but I, I don't, I don't think I'd care enough to, yeah, it's, it's whatever, I mean, the countdown's cool, the special move up next after the train move thing is cool, but everything else is kind of, eh, whatever. Alright, so, um, I guess that's most, if not all, we've got this update, so a lot of stuff, um, and especially in terms of, like, the, the, the grid expansion, all that stuff, like, yeah, they, there's still like three Poke Fair good expansions in in a month, which is a lot. I mean, the um, in terms of like new units, there's not like that much. It's just av average amount, which is four, which is good, which is good, which is good. Please, please don't do too many. Um, and uh, yeah, the units are nice, right? Uh, I think all of them are pretty good. Uh, Claire, I guess, is a bit more specialized, but you know, otherwise. You know, I guess Grusha is kind of spe specialized, I guess. Um, but, you know, the other ones are, yeah, just generally good units. And I got a, you know, there's a Wallace alt, which, uh, again, it's not champion Wallace, but, you know, we'll take it, I guess. Beggars can't be choosers, unfortunately. And uh, that was a very long video, almost an hour. Wow, holy crap. Um, but, hey, it's like, I would usually do, like, s 17 of these and they're like separate and they probably add up to longer so in fact even though this is a longer video it's actually a shorter video than what usually would happen so all right well that's me this one i guess i uh, hope y'all gentlemen guys think in the comments down below like enjoy the videos from our channel for more about mass content i'm gonna go eat some stuff slightly hungry and i'll see you guys in the next one